the poet Fernesis is now composing the most important part of his epic poem, telling how the mighty Persian kingdom was pacified by Darius, son of Hystaspes. Darius's descendant Mithridates is the reigning monarch. His additional titles, Eupator, Dionysus. At this point in his poem, Phernesis has need of some philosophy in order for him to faithfully analyse Darius's feelings at this juncture, what had been uppermost in the hero's thoughts. Pig-headed arrogance, perhaps, drunk with his own attainment, his almighty achievement. Dismissing this ignoble sentiment, Phernesis contemplates his poem. Surely the successful king must have understood how vain it was to give himself any sort of airs. Yes, that's the point to emphasise the glorious monarch's humility, no less. Phernesis' servant comes rudely rushing in, interrupting his master in midst of these so weighty cogitations. What is it? What is it? What do you want? The poet screams in a fury. Master, master, war has broken out against the Romans. Our glorious legions have crossed the frontier. Oh, fuck, the poet thinks. What a disaster. At the height of all these marshals, the last thing the king will think about will be my poetry, my epic Greek how could this happen to me? It's so unfair. Just when I was about to confound my critics, those paltry rhymesters jealous of my gifts, those talentless, tasteless scribblers. This has to happen. War, a bloody war. Dismissing his servant, he sits and cogitates. Perhaps it's not that bad, a temporary glitch. But will we be safe, even here in Amesis? The city is not much fortified. When the Romans are antagonized, they are frightful. How can we Poor Cappadocians fight them. Holy gods of Asia, come to our aid. Nonetheless, in the tumult of his troubles, Phernesis is thinking still of poetry, his Darius epic, and of philosophy. Pen in hand, he studies his papyrus, strokes his chin. Surely the hero Darius, when he took the empire for himself, surely there must have been much arrogance, even blazing self-congratulation, overweening pride at his prime achievement, admiration for his personal genius. Could he have even felt disastrous hubris? Hubris, yes, most definitely hubris.